everybody back again and today we're going to be taking another piece of rebar yes i spark tested it yes it has a good spark and we're going to try and make another sword out of it the last one went pretty well um a lot of guys will tell you you can't make a decent knife out of rebar but those guys don't know what the hell they're talking about what really matters is which piece of rebar see the vast majority of rebar is trash but if you find the right pieces they spark good you have a decent chance of being able to harden them now, no, this isn't going to perform nearly as well as a spring steel sword blade. I already talked about this in the last video. However, it will perform well enough for a cutting blade, if it's a good piece of rebar, if it takes a good heat treat. I've already snap tested and done a couple tests on this piece of rebar. This piece seems like it's decent enough to make a blade out of. So, we're going to make a rebar sword again. This one's gonna be a little bit different than our last one. So let's get the fire started, get going. First things first, I'm gonna flatten out a section here that's gonna become the guards on the end of our bar here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually split this right down the center.
blade. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start tuning up the guard and the handle to shape. We are back from our tempering and our hardening and I've just gone ahead and started to polish up the blade a little bit. I've got a lot of work left to do on the hilt and the blade. It still needs edges, but this is our Flamberge double-edged sword blade so far. I'm going to make a finish and testing video on this obviously like I always do, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, all that jazz so you don't miss out when this blade gets all finished up and we put it to the test to see if this rebar Flamberge small sword is any good. If you like what you've seen, do me a favor, do that thing right there. And until next time, God bless, stay sharp out there. If you're looking for a custom sharp object, check out the Etsy store.